have a great picture. That's actually plenty of good light right there if you want to do it right there. That's a pretty serious tool. Okay, we're set up for a half inch black pipe right now. So we'll, we'll just go ahead and rock with the half inch. We'll rock with the half inch right now. So I predominantly run my electricity here off my office trailer, off of solar panels. I'm going to use the generator because this is a really high amp machine. I don't want to stress out my inverter. Forward, neutral, reverse. I mean, really should never really have to put it in reverse. See how we're going. Talking about noise, and this is going to be noisier than anything. We'll grab a few fittings so we can test our thread. What we happen to do here is we just put the gas drop, so that's cool. Alright, that'll work. So just start cranking it, not too hard. And now it's just a good thing, boom. It's out. Now we're cutting with. With cutting with steel cutters like this, it always, it's not removing any material. You didn't see any shavings going anywhere. So where's that material going? You're shearing it off. So that material is actually pushed in. Now you got a huge freaking ridge right here. That's where this comes involved. This is where this is really important. I'm gonna grab this handle and lean back with my body weight, okay? I'm not just like this. I, I give it a little something. You hear the machine working? Now look at that, beautiful. I'm going to stop the new screen and kind of explain each one, but then I'll do one where you see me, I, I just blow and go. Okay, so now, we de now we're deburred. I would normally just keep the foot pedal going. The machine's going the whole time during this. I'm never stopping. But then I lower, I lower the die. So look, here's the release. It even says it right there, open and close. Open the dies so you can, you can slide freely over it. But to get started, we close them. So now it's time to start threading the pipe. Okay, ready to go. Is it the constant speed of oil? Now yeah, look, I'm even going to let go with my left hand. I'm going to let go. Now I'm going to be ready to release it. I'm watching the threads. As soon as I'm one thread past, I'm going to release it. Oil falls. Boom. I just saw a thread. I'm off. Put my oil away right there. Come on back. We'll give that a wipe and a test.
Looks like I might have to adjust these. And grin, I mean, I, just, I haven't used the 300 in a long time. I just pulled it out and you just saw my first one. I think I'm one thread too much, but the fitting will tell me. Just put her on. Just put her on until it gets tight. Put her on until it gets tight. That's tight. Now watch. We're watching for this side right here. That side's back. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five, five and a half. Too much, too much. So we do have to make an adjustment because we're looking for three. If that would have been four, I probably would have kept rocking, rocking and rolling. If that would have been two and a half, probably would have kept rocking and rolling, but five's too much. So we do need to make an adjustment. So loosen it up. Okay, loose. And watch. So it went. We took off too much material last time, right? So we're looking at, looking to take less material off. Now look, if I come down here, I'm taking less material off. If I go this way, I'm taking more material off. So I want to be, I want to be just a smudge less than what was already set. So watch, look this. That's about where we were, right? So I want to go just a little bit more. And I mean, just, just a hair, just a freaking hair, not much. That wasn't much of an adjustment at all. I'm gonna send this home just a little bit. Okay. Now take a look at it. Doesn't that look just a smudge less than it was before? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, that might be too much. <laughs> okay, there goes test. To loosen it, just give it a give it a couple jerks like that and it'll come right out. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna make it a little bit longer because we're gonna cut some off. Now, see these jerks right here? These are, these little jerks are really important. I'm not I'm loosening it. I'm not just getting it tight like that and calling it good. As you're threading, that'll come loose. So give it a give it a few jerks like that and really tighten it down. Okay, let's go and cut some off. I'm also going to take off my gloves. These gloves can actually get you in trouble uh, using using a machine that has a lot of rotating parts. Okay, so I'm taking these off. I don't, I don't want anything to catch. I'm taking that. I'm taking that. I'm not going to make another adjustment. That was pretty good. Here's another trick that I forgot until I started getting back into this. I'm actually not really looking for level right here. I actually want it tipped just a little bit because as you're cleaning the oils off, you want the oil. You just want it to be graded that way just a little bit. It'll really help with getting these oils out of it. So you can, the last thing you do is you have a lot of this you just try to, try to wipe up as much of the oil as you can. Okay, one to two. One inch to two inch right there. Let's do it. Did you see that? Yes. Can you God. Up? Roll my ankle. <laughs> Freaking bingo. Freaking bingo. Nine.
I love how I'm oiling it. I oil it until I start to see threads. Oil, oil, oil. Probably could have put a little bit more oil on that one. Okay, I want this, I want this excess oil right here coming out. Perfect. Hit it the first shot. Alright, let's do a couple more. Loosen it. Something. that I would normally clamp down, but mine broke, okay? So I set it up with the tripod. I set it up with the jack stand all the time. So if your machine had the back clamp, you would not need to set up a jack stand that close. Don't watch this YouTube video and do what I'm, I'm about to show you because you can really get hurt, okay? But you have, a fab you have a fabrication you're doing and you know you have a certain amount of sections that you want to pre-put a fitting on, you want to pre-put a 90 on, you can use the machine to make quick work out of it and easy work out of it so you're not doing some heavy wrenching in the field. But um, this, is, this is definitely a skill that you're going to want to practice when you get an opportunity to have a journeyman show you um, so you can gain the feel of it, okay? So how to use the machine to put fittings on. the frickin' pedal when you're setting this. Okay. Now I'm going to put my foot on the pedal. I'm ready. I'm clear. <laughs> Here's the thing, guys. If, you, if you're set... Oh, my God. I almost want to tell you don't do this, okay? Only, only if you're confident in yourself and comfortable. But I keep, I'm going to do this as an example. I'm keeping my foot planted and away from that pedal. But if I'm over here like this, playing with this, and my hand gets right here and this machine turns on, goodbye hand. If I stepped on that pedal right now, it's gonna drive this wrench right through my knuckles and crush everything there. It's gonna be the worst day you ever had. So once you have this set, once you have this set, step back, make sure you have nothing there. Go ahead and hit the pedal. Let it, let it grab. Oh, look. Right now the machine is threading into my fitting. Okay, the pipe wrench has my fitting. And look, I can pull up. Look, I can still pull up. So this is how you do this. You put it on, and when you can't, 
when you can't easily pull up anymore, that's when you know it's done, okay? So it's a fill, watch. I'm gonna kind of go live in action right now and you're gonna see me bounce, 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 bounce. When I can't bounce anymore, take your foot off the pedal. Because when you take your foot off the pedal, it's still spinning just a little bit and that's what drives it finally home, okay? Done, done. It got super tight, I jumped off, put, took my foot off the pedal, the machine kept going just a little bit and that joint is completely made up perfect. Get you a little bit of room, pull your wrench off and that thing is money. Go ahead and take a look in there. You can see the end of end of pipe about two or three threads back from the fin. Oh yeah. See it? Yeah. That is home. So, this is what I like to do. I kick it up, start to break. I'll leverage this thing up. Wait. You should do something once, right? <laughs> Okay, you're not gonna see many videos from me in the future because I just blew my back out. <laughs> <laughs>